There's going to be a lot of people, which makes me really, really anxious. Um, light. Oh, I have spawn pen. Subscribers, my name is Nandlandla Choizondo, but I also go by the name of Nona here. And to all my returning subscribers, hope you guys are good. I am good. Anyways, hey guys, I hope you like good. I am good. I am blessed and highly favored. Hope you guys are good as well. But yeah, so we're gonna start this vlog on a Friday. We closed that other vlog on a Friday as well. Due to it was quite long, but we're gonna continue today. So uh, this vlog is gonna go on the other week after the one that ended. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, um, I like to ramble a lot and repeat the same thing over and over again. But yeah, anyways, uh, the reason why I'm starting this vlog here, it's because this week it's gonna be a Actually, this weekend is going to be an eventful weekend, so I wanted to show you guys, which at least um, you get to see some videos, some vlogs where I would vlog because I don't want to do my content where I'm always like at work constantly. <sighs> it can get tiring, like right now, I'm really tired holding this camera. It can get uh, tiring where you like vlogging the same thing over and over again whereas I am an introvert I don't do a lot of stuff so if it happens that I go out it would be here and there it's not all the time I would really really like if I was able to like go out more and but I am working so I work in retail the hours are yo crazy I don't want to curse I wanted to curse but the hours are crazy and due to also another thing working in the casino the hours are also hectic like yesterday I did a 10 hour shift which was also crazy so you get what I'm trying to say but yeah I really would have liked to like vlog with you guys where I'm like going to a mall or doing some errands for myself but currently I'm working so in the near future, we would like Uti not to be working so much, but yeah. Not necessarily working so much, but like working for myself and get to like work on my own pace, be my own boss, if you know what I'm trying to say. Um, we're going to speak it into existence. It's going to happen by God's grace. <sighs> yeah, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. But yeah, um, currently this is my situation, so... We, we we are blessed with what we have currently and we will not be ashamed of it and yeah so yeah I'm just gonna vlog for you these three days so it's gonna be starting today and then Saturday and then Sunday but in terms of Sunday I'm not sure because it's gonna be busy um, like I said on the other video it's gonna be busy because so that's my brother so he's doing that and it's going to be hectic and there's going to be a lot of people which makes me really really anxious um not that i'm not a people's person it's just that people they tend to bang cinder if how can i put it they they weigh on me people when there's a lot of people when there's a crowd they just tend to like weigh on me and then afterwards I am super drained 
because of the talking and uh, mingling and all those things I tend to like get tired afterwards but yeah I'm talking too much I don't know how long have I been speaking but yeah I need to close it I need to open the store so yeah for now I'm gonna catch you guys as we go these three days maybe it might even go on a fourth day I don't know how the it's gonna depend on how long the footage of this whole weekend is gonna go so yeah for now I'm gonna catch you later guys yeah <laughs> Let's work. I might have already at work, but yeah. Bye, guys. to the main house maybe I might record I might not but let's go to the house
it today. She says one man job. So, yeah. Oh, I responded. Oh, she didn't want me to do it today. She says it's one man job. So she wants her hands to be done. The whole thing. So yeah. Uma, let's go. It's raining guys. It's raining like this rain is not gonna stop this month. Morning. <laughs>
car, but let's go. <laughs> Slow, how sure it's only one lane. Sure. So, yeah, um, I wanted to talk about what do you guys think of a dating pool? <laughs> video was talking about dreams and stuff but this time around I want to talk about what do you guys think of the dating pool currently the generations of the nows especially the millenniums the Gen Z not so much I don't but I think they can also relate I'm a Gen Z I think they can also relate some way somehow but I would say maybe all the girlies who are in their mid-twenties up to 35 yeah I'm just gonna put in that text bracket those girlies come comment down below guys what do you think of the dating pool right now um, <laughs> for me currently, um, for me, I would say, you know what, it's scary out there. It's really scary out there these days. There's a lot that's going on with this generation. Like I said, 25 to 35. Yeah, that that very kid's in 25 to 35. Well, the dating pool is just heesh. Would I say I'm putting myself out there? Yes, I am. Hence why I'm going also on solo dates. I just also need to like get out of the house. There's also this video, <laughs> I'm just thinking currently now. There's this video that's going around, it has been going around, on, on TikTok. There's a guy who says, hey girls, I have a type. My type is the girls that are always indoors. But how am I going to meet you if you're always indoors? <laughs> so, yeah. That's why I also would just go out on solo dates and like get to like connect with myself and also not to keep myself indoors. I don't want to be depressed and not going out. So I do go out and when I go out, I have fun. So obviously a guy is going to meet you if you're out indoors. Not this thing is sticking around in the house and I would like to speak to her or I would like to like have a conversation with her so there's no thing like that so yeah I think it's just like I would say it's just like um, it's just like um, it's just Survival of the fittest, hey? This generation, some of them, the guys, man, especially, some of them, they're like, hey, some of them, they've got egos, some of them, they don't want to do courtship, they just, they like this thing, ama, but 
been said it's a term we use in South Africa where people stay together and they're not married so in South Africa we call it if I did set um, so yeah a lot of guys like this right now my my generation really majority of them they like it where they would have a girl stay with a girl rent a house together they will stay together for years and years some even 10 years they're not married they're doing all the things that they need to do in marriage so what's the point of being in a situation like that and then at the end of the day you don't even get married so yeah that's just not my cup of tea so <laughs> hence why some people they would find witty that I'm a bit difficult and I cannot break my boundaries that I've set for myself and then yeah and then you're like Ish, I do really wish to date but the guys that I meet they all just wanna have you fat and sit and some of them they're not even serious with their lives some of them they're still playing around and in Nangmas' Katsaloko Why are you still wanting to play around? Whereas, I mean, I'll tell you On the first time when we meet, when we meet I'll just tell you straight up to you Bro, I want to get married I'm not dating to, to be meeting another person if you want to be with me, it has to be intentional. We both need to know what's the end, what's the end goal. So if when I used to want to play around and even this thing of saying, I want to get to know you better. Okay, you want to get to know me better. Okay, fine. Let's also do it with intentions. Just know Wuti, why are you dating me? So let's not just waste one another's time because yeah, but analentole every relationship that you're gonna be going into now. Okay, I want to get to know you, and then you still wanna get to know me. Two years down the line, three years down the line, even four years down the line. What are we still getting to know? Don't you know me already by the fourth year? But yeah, <laughs> it's just duty. Some guys, man, they don't have, they don't get, they don't, uh, they don't date with intention. They're dating for the now. They don't think of the future. So yeah me i need to like know your plans Wooting as Wooting, when i get into a relationship i know Wooting. if i don't know Wooting, if i get a good relationship and then i ask to get a good relationship now so let's just not do it so yeah Sorry, not like that ass. Um, so yeah, a lot of people in here, even girls, some of the girls, yo, my sisters, sorry, a lot of you guys, some of us girls, they be not fully matured, some of us, we always think about the money yes obviously when we get into a relationship we don't want to be dating someone who's below you your what do they call it they say date in your bracket date in your in your lane so you, you 
you really do have to check those things you can see okay how is this person financially are we gonna be able to live if it happens we get married are we gonna be stable are we gonna be able to take care of our kids you always have to think of that think of the finances think of the family situation as well you always have to think about that because in the long run you don't want to be scammed into a marriage and then end up breaking up because you guys were not clear about certain things and things were not um, aligning so in a way you have to check of check of those things so yeah it's just that some girls are not realistic when it comes to those things they always want to go for hence why you would also find girls who are dating older people like a person who's 10 years older than them or, or even worse they will date someone who's old enough to be their father they are uncles and then they think this person is going to marry them or some of them they get into a relationship with a married man a man who's committed and then you like you are actually shooting yourself on the foot so why are you crying why are you wiling what are you wiling about because you knew the whole situation so yeah some of us girls we need to be like realistic this thing of living on cloud nine it never lasts so hence why you will see on social media all these crazy stories that you will hear and then you feel bad for those girls and then you'll be but then again you'll be like but you knew what you were getting yourself into so yeah man it's just that it's not easy don't wanna lie this generation that we're living in currently it's not easy and I'm like hey but I'm a Gen Z Gen Z's are worse they're like fuck fuck sorry they're like you know what this is not for me they will just give up quickly so yeah it's just hey man guningi 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 this is a twanger guningi 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 what we are going through as um the youth of now and then amanga hey is our turn amanga by it we want to push a lifestyle that we cannot even maintain so it's a struggle man yeah Hello. I welcome to make another any point today. Yes, I am. Uh, I'm going ice coffee hazelnut, please. Hazelnut ice coffee. Yeah, boo. Okay, maybe come over the window. It's going to give me the number on this side. All right, yeah, boo. Thank you. Uh, it would always be nice if I was the only one.
Hello, okay? It's yeah. yeah, it's inside uh, connector and one. G M eight nine five. which is medium size or large? Just a bag and a Okay, so would you like to buy a ten and hands towards the cheapest one? Thank you, Nick. It's a double. But it's telling you the points. Yeah, thank you.
today more especially because of last night I'm so tired we slept late yesterday um, I think it was around 1 if I'm not mistaken and then we had to wake up around 6 we but I I was like struggling I woke up around half past not necessarily half past but it was going for half past because I remember it ringed Actually, yeah, I did wake up around half past six in the morning. My body was aching. I was annoyed. <sighs> you know what? I'm starting to realize that I'm not a morning person. I don't want to be disturbed. I don't want to be talking to anybody. I just want my peace. If it was for me, I wouldn't be, wouldn't, I wouldn't be seeing people in the morning. But I have to. But yeah, it was quite a hectic day today, as you might have seen. Um, to, but I didn't vlog yesterday in the evening when I got home. But it was really, really hectic. We had to like prepare salads and all these things. And today we cooked in the morning. Just a pig until nabom. But luckily, because we prepared last night, so things were not too hectic when we had to cook because already everything was chopped and ready to be cooked but yeah it was really really hectic so and then I also got to do my lashes yesterday before I got to bed my baby sister did my lashes I don't know if you can see them but yeah I did them these things how do you feel about them Whew, I don't know how Kayams, all the other chicks do this having lashes and my baby sister also loves lashes I don't know how they do it because I wanna like scratch my eye I cannot when I have to take a shower oh I've got lashes on I cannot yeah my hey guys <laughs> my camera died so I'm using my phone now I don't know where was I yeah I was saying I don't know how the girls do this thing of individual lashes. I mean, I cannot, really. Once these come off, I'm good. I'm not even going to do it. Me and my mascara, we are like this. So I'm good with my mascara. So guys, let me close the vlog here. I'm going to see you on the next one. So from my heart to yours, hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. And yeah, I hope you have a beautiful week. From my heart to yours. Love you lots. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>